This is Proverbs chapter 19 verse 1. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the Akim that's out there laboring and doing his work in truth and sincerity. And Proverbs chapter 19, verse 1, I want to read it again. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips. And is a fool And I bring this scripture out To make just a general You know Statement You know The whole thing that was going on The past couple of days in Israel You know basically Is been put to rest You know But men uh, Show a great display of integrity Of um, You know Of if they misspoke You know The integrity That they show forth Is um, showing their faults Okay um, Being uh, remorseful For what was If they misspoke on something You know And it just shows you um, The uh, the character Of men That lead Israel You know um, You have men out there That don't understand uh, The dynamics Of this truth You know You have to be a man Of integrity you have to be well rounded You know Okay You have to be of a, of a pure heart You see And you have men that are that are uh, Basically carnal You know That uh, think they're in the truth But they're basically uh, reprobates Okay You got men that stand on the sidelines Okay And they wait for any drama To uh Come out of Israel And then here they come Out of the cracks and crevices Of the earth And want to You know Spew their uh, Personal opinion on something You know But I want to pull out this next scripture Okay Um This is um First Thessalonians chapter Three Verse one See, lock it. This. All right, this is Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse one. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is in with you. That we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men For all men have not faith You know And when you really think about uh, The scripture in Proverbs about the poor You know um, That's really men that are really rich in faith man You see But not all men have faith You see And these guys are playing games man More, more or less because the fact is, is that uh, they look at this as a, a drama series, then of it being of truth. And when uh, things transpire amongst men, okay, and then uh, integrity plays a part in it, you see, they understand not. You see, they don't uh, learn anything from what has really transpired, you know, um, they're not really uh, discernment of, 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 of the spirit, man. You see? All right? For one, you know, uh, when you think of it through a spiritual eye, what transpired, okay, it was really, uh, at the end of the day, uh, edification, you know, on how to walk in this truth, you know? And, you know, you have men that are not really a discerning the spirits, man. You know, all right. This next scripture I want to bring out. Um, let's go to. Let's see, Romans chapter one. Uh, 
Verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. You know? And when I say, when the scripture talks about this, you know, I mean, we, we use the scripture for um, uh, uh, people of, of uh, uh, that perverts uh, sexual spirit that, that is on them, but this also can go for men out there that don't like to retain the knowledge of the Most High is because um, they come into this truth and they uh, they fall off, they shy away, they go back into the world, or they can't leave the world alone, you know? And over time, they become reprobates, you know? And uh, they do the things which are not convenient. Hey, one thing that they do that's not convenient for them really is really to their own condemnation is, is, is being a busybody, you know, coming out with your personal opinion, you know, um, you know, not letting the whole thing play out to where uh, you can learn something from it. OK, you see. All right. They don't understand how how men are, 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 are being built up in this truth and the whole dynamic of, of them you being well rounded. You know, and walking with that integrity, you know, okay, being man enough, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, show that um, your fault in something is of, of, of great integrity, you see, you know, but the men didn't catch that in the spirit, you see, right, but these men, right, that is talked about in Romans, right, verse 29, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, Wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, you know, and a lot of people envy Great Millstone, man, you know, because of the spirit, man, you know, you see, these men are really are, are haters of Yahweh Shai, man, you see, these men that want to have their personal opinion and, and want to have something to say about Great Millstone, man, right, murderer, you know, Okay, here it is. You have men that are basically showing forth their integrity and um, manning up and apologizing for something. But you have people that still want to dislike the particular video or, or don't accept the apology and basically want to kick, kick, kick their back in, man. You know? Right? Debate, deceit, manipulity, whisperers. You know? And these guys are, are, are really like... But at the end of the day, uh, uh, like that be like gossipers of Israel, man. You know, that come out on a common board and and, and want to voice their opinion when something uh, goes down. You know, they love the the drama part of this whole thing. They think this thing is uh entertainment, man. You know, okay, and they're not taking anything to learn from it because they're reprobates. You know, backbiters, haters of the Most High. You know, and these guys are haters of the Most High at the end of the day. You know. Okay, these guys are, are basically uh, uh, in the world, man, you know, people want to come on a comment board with their personal opinion, and then when you go to their page, there's no content, man, or there's content that's not, that has nothing to do with the truth, man, you know, you got people that's on here that got a whole bunch of uh, uh, workout videos, man, you know, okay, you see, uh, the spiteful Proud boasters, inventors of evil things, man. You know, and these people are e inventors of evil things, man, because they like to, uh, 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 you know, um, bring up bring up something that uh, they can't prove. You know. Okay, they like to bear, fair bear false witness on men. You see, okay. They want to accuse men of, of doing certain things, man, that are not being done, man. I don't want to really want to get into that part of it, though, you know. But we can uh, uh, bring up a plethora of uh, situations where, um, you know, they like to uh, use that slander, man, you know. And I'm talking about they use a the slander against the men of Great Millstone, man. You see, right? Disobedient to parents, you see, because... These guys are disobedient just because why? It's because you have a lot of these guys that basically watch the, the, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man, and learn from them, man. You see? Okay? But don't have order, man. 
You know, when something rubs them the wrong way, they're going to jump up and have an opinion and then not instead of letting the spirit uh, uh, try to sup, sup with them, you know, to try to be able to grasp and get understanding, man. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a, just a stumbling block. That's all it is. You see? OK. Right. Right. It goes into it. Verse 31 without understanding, you know, they don't have uh, uh, they don't they can't discern, man. You see. Right. Covenant breakers, man. OK. You come in, into this thing, man, and you broke away, you know, okay, all right. You trying to put the the, the, the Lord on a um, on a cross of fresh, man, by walking away from this truth, man. You a covenant breaker, man. You see, okay. You guys are not in the truth, man. Okay. You may know that you are of Israel, okay. You see, but you guys are, are, are living like niggas, man. At the end of the day, you know. Right? Without natural affection, man. These guys don't have no natural affection, man. You see? Okay? If a brother uh, apologizes, man, you're supposed to accept that apology, man. But you have people that don't want to accept uh, uh, an apology that, that's given out, man. You see? Okay? Implicable, unmerciful, man. You know? And, he, and that's the point, man. These people are, are basically unmerciful, man. Is because they don't uh, 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 forgive a brother, man, for 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 maybe uh, putting out an apology out there, but at the the main thing is that they don't really uh, get any uh, learn anything from what transpired, man. As far as having integrity in this thing, man, you see, okay, they don't understand that, man. It takes great integrity for a man to to man up, to, man, to to something that he may have said or misspoke of, man. Okay, you see. You got to have integrity in this truth, man, to be able to to endure it to the end, man. That's a, a that's a characteristic that you must have, man. You see, right, right. Who knowing the judgment of the Most High that they did not commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. You know, and you know these people, man. They really, at the end of the day, they don't fear the Most High, man. You see, these people don't fear the Most High, man, and they're not, uh, 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 they're not in the spirit, man. That's just what it is at the end of the day. You see, okay, but really, man, I want to just want to harp on on them being uh, these people in Israel, man, being unmerciful, man. You know, right? Um, I want to bring out something real quick from the um, apocrypha. This is um. Sirach chapter 37 verse 11 you know and you know this is basically in, um, an analogy right here right this is um, um, Sirach chapter 37 verse 11 right I'm going to read it through but I want to get to the point neither consult with a woman touching of her of whom she is jealous Neither with a coward in matters of war, nor with a merchant concerning exchange, nor with a buyer of selling, nor with an envious man of thankfulness, nor of an unmerciful man touching kindness, man. You know? And that's really what I, what I want to touch on, man. You know? Okay? You see? An, 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 an unmerciful man, okay? Cannot accept anything of, of any good, man. You see, anybody that would do something of, of goodness, they can't. They can't accept that, man. You know, nor of any slothful for any work. You know, and these guys are basically just a uh, 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 slothful, slothful uh, uh, scoffers, man. At the end of the day, man, that's all they really are. You see, okay, right? Nor in hireling for a year of finishing the work. And these guys don't do the work, man. Okay? You see? All right? They're not uh, um, bid to the marriage, man. You see? Okay? They're those, uh, uh, um, those, those five foolish virgins, man. You see? Right? Nor an idle servant of much business, man. You know? And these guys are really idle at the end of the day, man. You see? Okay? They're not doing, doing the Lord's business, man. They're not about the Lord's business. You know, right? Hawking not unto these in any matter of counsel, man. 
And they're not no men of no council, man. You see? The order's already been set up, man. You see? All right? So these men are, 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 are some people of, of, of just vain opinions, man. Okay? All right? And, and your, 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 your opinion is not wanted, man. You know? Okay? But I just want to sp speak upon these un unmerciful men that are out here, man, that do not uh, like to accept uh, 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 men of an integrity, so to speak, man, to put it in a nutshell, man. You see? All right? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the Akim that's out there laboring and doing his work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.